feel that women empowerment is really looking at women who have gone before us, who have come before us, women who have achieved things that we would like to achieve, and most importantly, women who we can see ourselves in. I've been very fortunate enough to be surrounded by very strong, powerful, impactful females. My mother, my grandmother, both grandmothers. In a world where women are still treated like second-class citizens, women empowerment has never been more important. Women are still being denied opportunities related to education and jobs, etc. And so as governments around the world galvanize recovery packages, we have to pause to ask the question around their gender sensitivity to make sure that we're doing that with women in mind. My definition of women's empowerment is women taking back the power that we've been stripped of for centuries, the power of making our own choices when it comes to our bodies, lives, and career paths. What we can do to make South Africa more gender equal is making the girl child's education a priority. It's time that we take action and we grant girls free and accessible quality sanitary pads. The statistics speak for themselves. South Africa is one of the most unequal societies in the world, and women are the stronghold of this country. So we need to aim to protect the South African women. Also, the statistics during the COVID-19 pandemic have been shocking. And this is not a way that South African women should be living. We deserve to be protected. We deserve to be prioritized. And we deserve our freedom. Essentially, when a woman is empowered, the entire community benefits. Once we have that, we're able to pass the baton on to the next. Woman empowerment for me is showcasing that we can truly do all things.